to come his way. Doesn't matter who tell you, lay your hands on the radio. God didn't say, lay your hands on the radio and repeat after me. That's right. He said, repent. Yeah. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. My God, he told him to preach it. He didn't say, lay your hand on the radio and repeat this prayer after me. And after you repeat it, now you are saved. You better don't trust that. Now you be dumping hellfire. Greetings, everyone. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you're now listening to the whole true program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, where Bishop Joe C. Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Let us bow our heads in prayer and meditations as we're led by Deacon Swinney. Most holy and kind Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we want to pray and thank you for all your love and your kindness, for your tender mercy, and many blessings which you send the walls in the last few days. Pray, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we hear our prayer this morning, grant our petition. My God, lead us and guide us in the path of all truth and right for your name's sake. Bless the broadcast as it go forth all the way to the air of the telecast. Tele that the region, my God, in Jesus' name, that someone's heart may hear your word, my God, and turn from their evil ways and from the evil they're doing. Give them a mind to turn on the deed, repent of their sin, my God, be baptized in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Then give them a mind, they'll call upon your name to be filled with the blessed gift of the Holy Ghost. Speak with the tongue of the Spirit of God, give them a lift for the holy and sanctify our life right here in this present evil world. Bless my God, the saints of God everywhere. Bless them one by one with the blessed stand need of. Touch and heal thy body, my God, if you will, in Jesus' name. Raise them up, my God. You tell us to pray for one another that they might be healed. Heal them, my God. I know you're able. Heal them, my God, and give them the strength in their body, my God. Increase their faith in thee, my God. My God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless my God, our pastor, Bishop Joseph Tisdale, as they bring unto us the pure words of God in the last few days. Bless my God. Give them a message, my God. Be able to find to our soul. Full of grace and season with salt, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, word is mouth, my God, I know you're able to do all things, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us, my God, to live for the holy and sanctified life right here in this present evil world, my God, in Jesus' name. We'll give you the praise, my God. We'll give you the thank. We highly magnify and love and adore your great name forever. We thank you, my God, in the people of God. Amen. Again, you're listening to the Whole Truth Program. If you have any questions or comments, you can also call our toll-free number at 1-877-332-5661. You may visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs, calendar events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.thechurchin.org. Now, we will be favored with a selection from the choir entitled, Seeking for Me. Jesus, my Savior, to Bethlehem came, born in a manger to sorrow and shame. Oh, it is wonderful, bless me his name, seeking for me, for me. Seeking for me, seeking for me, seeking for me. 
are thankful and do give much praises and honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that have blessed us with another day to contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. We do greet everybody, all of you, with much love, joy, and peace. Always we do this because we want the Lord to bless you with love, joy, and peace. We are very thankful for our program that is going out over the ways of the air. We want to let you know that we speak according to the words of God. Amen. The apostles' doctrine that mm -hmm. is written that we should continue steadfast in. We should be unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. We are glad, amen, to bless our Lord that have given us the truth to speak to you. Now the truth, according to the words of God, shall make you free, Jesus says. Amen. This is the only thing that's going to help the human family. Uh -huh. Not a lie. Because all lies, as the words say, will have their part in the lake. That means the lake of fire. And you may have gotten out a whole lot of situations. But one thing about it, if you ever cast into hell fire, it's no outlet. Oh, no. We can't get out of there. So while we are out of there, we ought to do the things that will help us not to go there. Amen. I know you don't want to be in a bottomless pit. You don't want to be burning and never be able to be burned up. Amen. Filled with worms. My God, that's a terrible way to be. Amen. So God has given the church a way to be saved. You may not believe it. You had to realize that God works in a mysterious way. Oh, yes. Where you think God is at, he's not there. Mm-hmm. See, you can't decide anything for the Lord. Cannot. Thank God you can't tell God who to give his plan to. Amen. Amen. He give it to whomsoever he will. Mm -hmm. And once God give it to you, you don't have to be confounded. You don't have to be complaining. You know, according to the book of Matthews, 13th chapter, I believe, in the 11th verse. Uh -huh. See, this is something that God has given. Amen. Amen. And we shouldn't be worrying about it when God gives it. Amen. Shouldn't be worrying whether I'm right. You're supposed to know whether you're right. Oh, yeah. given. Shouldn't be worrying uh -huh. or complaining. Amen. Because once God give it to you, that's, right. that's it. If you are hungry for righteous sake and you be filled, you ought to know it. You ought to know when you're hungry for some food and you go to the buffet and stuff yourself. Shouldn't you know if you have eaten or not? Oh, yeah. You should rub your, st your stomach and see how full you are and say, my God, I have something in here now. Well, it's the same way with God. Once he bless your heart and mind and fill you with righteousness, his truth, you have to know it. Man. You can't doubt it. No, no. Because it's God on the inside. Mm -hmm. I thank God for it. Amen. God to fix his saints where we don't have to be complainers. We can rest in the Lord. Amen. I thank God for this. In this miserable world here, we can rest in Jesus Christ. What a blessing this is, people. Trouble on every side. My God, but we are resting in the Lord. Amen. And we have peace. Why? We are in him. And Jesus Christ is in us. 
We know this because he gives his spirit to his children to let them know that he's with them. Isn't that right? Amen. We have the truth. My God, we don't have to be ashamed because we think we are underprivileged children. We have the truth. Amen. My God, that's God giving us that. Yeah. God give it. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Amen. No man give it. God give this. That's right. I thank God for this today. I'm so proud of the Lord giving us something that we can live with and be ready when Jesus comes. Why? It's according to the word. Oh, yes. According to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it's supposed to help every human being if you desire to be with the Lord. Yeah. What does word say, read it? Matthew 13 and 11. Yes, sir. He answered and said unto them. What? Because it is given unto you. See what is happening here? It is given unto you. I don't care what men say, this and that. God give this oh, yes. to us. Amen. Amen. And when he gives it, we know it. Amen. Is, is that right? Oh, yeah. Don't tell me you're half broke and somebody give you some money and you don't realize you have money. you got to be something wrong with your mind. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. I'm broke and I need money. Amen. And when someone give it to me, I, I, I don't know it. I don't realize it. Yes, you will. You'll spend it as fast as you get it in your hand. Is that right? Oh, yeah. So what do you think about the Lord? When God gives you something, shouldn't you know it? Oh, yeah. Man. Shouldn't you believe it? That's right. We have to believe the Lord. Oh, yeah. My God, we can't go around here and don't believe God. We have to believe him yeah. with our whole heart. Yeah. Don't worry about dying. You're going to die anyway. Man. But die in the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Die in him. Get happy in him. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to die. Oh, yeah. But I'd rather die according to the gospel of Jesus Thank Christ. Thank you, Lord. I, I'd rather die in it. Amen. If I live by it, I want to die by it. Oh, is, yeah. that, is that right? That's right. As long as I'm able to go, let me go in the gospel. What did it say, read it? Because it is given unto you. It's given. To know. To know. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But do, do you people believe this? Oh, yeah. It's given. God gives it. Amen. No man can ravish God. Hallelujah. No man can command it out of God and take it from him. Hallelujah. Amen. No man counsels God. I believe Amen. this. Amen. Amen. You know, I believe God, how the Lord can come down in a world, amen, that's full of false doctrine and place his truth in somebody. Is that right? Amen. As it were in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. God went down to Noah, didn't he? Amen. And, and, and worked on Noah, and the Bible says he moved with faith. Oh, yeah. God oh, gave yeah. him 120 years. Yeah. My God, to build the ark, the safety for God people to come in. God preaches, preaching the word now for God people to come on in and repent. Yeah. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. See, my preacher don't preach like that. That's because he doesn't have the word of God. If he had the word, he'd do just what the Lord said. Is that right? Amen. He doesn't have it. You can stay there and, and, and love him. So you remember, they, they love those false prophets. Yeah. Amen. But the true, amen, your flesh not going to love the truth. God have to quicken you and draw you to this. Amen. If God doesn't draw you to it, you can't come. Amen. But it's given to God to draw somebody in here. Is that right? Amen. I'm going to have an understanding when God draw me in this plan. I, is that right? Amen. I don't have to worry. Amen. God, people can, I said, rest easy in Jesus Christ. No complaining. My God, we have joy, joy, joy. Bible said joy. We have joy in the Holy Ghost and full of glory. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. What did it say? Read it. For whosoever hath for whosoever hath, to him shall be given. To him shall be given. And he shall have more abundance. That's right. But whosoever hath not, uh -huh. from him shall be taken away even that that he hath. You see this? Read that again. From him, but whosoever hath not. Now, you see what this word is saying? Read the whole thing again. For whosoever hath, if you have it, to him shall be given. You see this? And he shall have more abundance. You, if God give you this, you have it, 
What he's going to do? He shall have more abundance. God's going to keep saturating you with it. That's right. We have it more abundantly. That's is that right? Is that Amen. right? But if you don't have this now. But whosoever hath not. You don't have it. From him shall be taken away. What's that? Even that he had. God going to take all that from me. You, you're not going to take no good singing down in hell. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. You know, gifts come without repentance. That's what the word says. It's because you have a good voice to sing and you can make people rock with your voice. Hey, look here. That's not salvation uh, for you. Mm -mm. You for have to repent. You gifts. had to be baptized in water in the yeah. name of Jesus Christ. That's right. And use your gift for the Lord. But That's if you right. use your gift for Satan, you're going you to you gonna get the same thing that he's going to get. That's right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. What did it say, read it? Romans 11 and 29. What's that? For the gifts and calling of God. You hear what this word telling me? Are without repentance. You, you, you see, many of you say, there's no way I can sing this good and people enjoy it so much and, and, and I'm not saved. Well, that comes without repentance. You haven't repented, but you still have a gift, wonderful gift in singing. Amen. I can't sing like you, boy. If I could, boy, with the Holy Ghost, I could rock something. That's right. <laughs> but I'm telling you. That's right. <laughs> but I have the gift of God, amen, to save my soul. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I don't have to do everything, but I have to do what it requires for me to be That's saved. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Why did it say, read it? For whosoever hath, to him shall be given. If you have it, God going to continually bless you. That's right. Oh, yeah. But if you don't. And he shall have more abundance. He's going to be more abundance for those that have it. But whosoever hath not. Whosoever have not. From him shall be taken away even that he had. And no goodness going in hell. Right. Amen. Nothing going down there but evil. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Wicked. That's right. No good gifts going in no, the hell fight. No, no, no. No right. gifts. It's because I can sing, I say, and move the people. That's not going to save my soul. No, I have no. to go down in water just like everybody else. Right. Is that right? Amen. What does it say, read it? Therefore speak I to them in parables. Now you see this? Because seeing they see not. God going to tell you some things in a parable for you to see it. Mm -hmm. But if your eyes haven't been blessed, you overlook it. You won't see the parable. Mm -hmm. But when you see the parable, that's the mystery of Jesus Christ. Amen. Isn't that right? Yes. In that parable, he speaks to you. That's right. You see something spiritual. Mm -hmm. You have to remember when those words came out of Jesus' mouth, they were spirit. Amen. You have to look for the spirit in it. Is that right? That's right. Amen. He, he may speak about wheat and corn, but you better put your mind on wheat and corn spirit. Isn't that's that right. right? That's right. That, that's what he wants you to do. See the spirit in a, from a natural parable. You see the spirit of God. You see the power of God. You see where God calling you into his one plan of salvation. Is that right? Yeah. My God preaches out there preaching to be a big man. I'm not preaching to be no big man. I pray God he saved my, little, my soul. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, and tell people the truth. Yeah. Amen. Tell me the truth. Yeah. Amen. Don't tell me no lie. That's right. Is that right? Amen. If I'm broke, you just tell me I'm broke. Right. Don't make it like I have something. <laughs> Why did it say read it? Because seeing they see not. Seeing they can't see it. And hearing they hear not. You people complaining that why I can't see it, you hadn't been blessed. Neither do they understand. You, you, do, you can't understand it. You know what? You, you can't continue to do evil and have an understanding. You'll never have an understanding doing the sinful things of the world. That's right. God not going to give it. What you have to do, the word said they part from evil that you have an understanding. Yeah. Man. You can't understand any evil. Right. Amen. Why, God haven't blessed you. That's right. You haven't blessed your head. Is that right? That's right. What did it say, Rita? And in them is fulfilled what? the prophecy of Isaiah, which what? said, What? By hearing ye shall hear, Yang, and shall we, not understand. Look at this thing. And seeing ye shall see, look at this. and shall not perceive. Many of you people say, I just can't see it that way. God haven't blessed your eyes. 
Don't have it. Is that right? They don't have and, it. And having bless your air to hear the truth. That's right. God have to bless our air. That's right. And, and look at here. That's God right. have blessed somebody. Oh, yeah. You can fight it if you want, but somebody have the truth. Oh, yeah. is, that, is that right? Yeah. My it's God, some, somebody have the truth oh, yeah. now. It is it's given. Good. Oh, yeah. It's God good. already given this That's to right. somebody. That's right. Is that right? Amen. And thank God I'm one. Bless the Lord. Amen. I Amen. thank God for that. Thank God. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Jesus said you should know it. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of I, heaven. I know it. I know I have the truth. But to them it is not given. But it's not given to them. Amen. Amen. Why? You don't have blessed eyes. That's right. That's right. Ears not blessed. That's right. You know, we can't hear nothing if our eyes and ears That's not right. blessed. You can't see nor hear That's right. what this word is saying. People have to remember Jesus Christ comes to us. Doesn't matter how he speaks. It's the spirit. Amen. Is that right? Amen. If you come after God, try to come with the God with the Spirit. John 6 and 63. Ask him for his Spirit. Amen. What does it say, read it? John 6 and 63. What? It is the Spirit that quickeneth. Now, I don't care how you complain. That's who touch us. The Spirit quickened us and drawed us in here. And the Spirit is light. Amen. Is that right? That's right. We, we were in darkness. That's right. And the Spirit, amen, quickened us. We saw the light. Amen. Is that right? Amen. We saw that light. We saw that light where darkness could not comprehend. That's right. I, I, is that right? Amen. John was speaking about that light. That's right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Doesn't matter. You in sin. You in darkness. You sin it. Amen. But when the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, if that light shines unto you, you're going to see a way to get out of sin. Oh, yeah. And that way is Jesus Christ. That's right. He said, I'm the way. Amen. My God, you have to see Jesus Christ to bring you on out of darkness. Amen. Is that, is that That's right? Because right. he's a light. Yeah. He's the light of the world. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's right. My God, you shine that light unto us one day. Amen. 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 It, just, it, it came to our hearts. That's right. It moved on our hearts and Amen. give us a heart and a mind to follow Jesus Christ. The Lord need to move on our hearts. Is that right? Yeah. Give us a clean heart. Amen. Clean heart. And, and, and put the right spirit in us so we can follow the Lord. We supposed to know about Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare unto the world, somebody know about Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. You may not believe it because you can't see. That's right. You can't hear. Amen. Is that right? That's right. You in, you in unbelief. That's told, right. Told darkness. What That's the words right. say, Rita? The flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. Now, I thank God for this. And they are life. I thank God for this. But there are some of you that believe not. You see that? Man. Jesus Man. speaking the word to them, spirit and life, and some of them, they don't believe it. That's right. Some of you don't believe it now. That's right. You out there hearing me, but you don't believe it. Why? You traditionally are in evil ways. That's right. And you have adapted you, really, you didn't have to be adapted to it. You were born with it. That's right. I, is that right? Oh, yeah. We oh, were yeah. born with, amen, amen, transgression and evil. We were born in sin and iniquity. Yes, we were. And, and so when we came forth, we were familiar with doing wrong. Oh, yeah. We were familiar with committing sin, yes. transgression. Yes. Because it was in us. It was in I, us. Is that right? Amen. But now Jesus Christ, we have to come to him, amen, and look to him. Whosoever will, the Bible says, let him come and take the water of life freely. Yeah. Let him come and take Jesus Christ freely. He's Amen. free. Right. Jesus Christ is free. Amen. And we all can come to him today. Amen. But we have to come his way. Amen. Doesn't matter who tell you, lay your hands on the radio. God didn't say lay your hands on the radio and repeat after me. That's right. He said, repent. Yes, right. Is that right? My God, he told him to preach it. He didn't say, lay your hand on the radio and repeat this prayer after me. And after you repeat it, now you are saved. You better don't trust that. Now you be dumping hellfire. <laughs> That's right. You have to repent now. You have to go down in water now. Yeah. We all have to go in water. Oh, yes. If Jesus Christ went in it, he's our role model. That's right. Amen. Is that right? That's right. Mark the perfect man. 
be holy, upright. upright. Who's that? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Is that right? Amen. He's the upright. What he does, we can follow the Lord. Amen. Is that right? If Jesus said, come follow me, follow him. That's right. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. amen. We can follow someone that's, amen, doesn't matter what happens to you. He likes say, don't worry, I got your back. That's right. Amen. Doesn't matter what happened, I got you. Is, is that right? Amen. What's the worst thing we can do? Lose our life, right? But Jesus said, I got life. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. He said, if you lose your life. Yeah, is that right? For my, me and the gospel, he's come on. That's right. I'm going to give it to you again. Oh, yeah. We all should be striving to die in the Lord, people. Yeah. Believe me. Don't let no, the Bible says, don't let no man deceive you now. Don't let a man deceive you. That's right. You pray and ask the Lord. Seriously, people, you that are listening to me, pray and ask the Lord. Call his name. His name is Jesus Christ. That's and right. if you have That's a right. pure heart and believing and want to be saved, I guarantee you, you get a connection from God. Yeah. All you had to do is believe him. That's right. That's right. His name is Jesus Christ. If I believe on that name and if I call on that name according to the word of God, as the apostle said it, whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, call it. Amen. Call it. Be sincere, pureness of heart, oh, and yeah. call on the Lord. Amen. I don't care how wrong you've been in your traditional ways. We all have been wrong. That's right. Yeah. All have gone astray amen. and come short of the glory of God. But look at here. We can have, amen, what we need in Christ Jesus. I say to you people in radio land, television land, this is the truth. This is the truth from heaven to earth. You have to believe in the Lord and get, believe him wholeheartedly. And see where I see, he'll lead you, Amen. he'll guide you, he'll Amen. lead you Amen. to all truth. That's right. Just desire to be saved. Be like, desire to believe on the Lord with your whole heart. That's right. I know you want to be saved. You don't want to be dumped in hell fight. Mm -mm. But you have to realize what you must do to be saved. Amen. And someone is always here to tell you what you must do. That's right. Those that have called for prayer, we praying for you. Lord. We continue to pray for you. Amen. And the Lord bless you. Oh yeah. To enjoy the program, but I want God to touch your heart. That's right. Amen. I want you to be a part of this plan of salvation. That's the Lord. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. Amen. Yeah, I've been listening to the whole truth program coming to you from the sanctuary, the church, in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Apostle Doctor program. Located in Hartsville, South Carolina, this is Joseph Taylor, Pastor Jones. Tune in again to hear the word of God. Preach to this voice.